What is up guys? Welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. Today I want to talk about custom entities and more specifically ownership types within custom entities. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So what I wanted to talk to you about today is the fact that we have two kinds of ownerships when it comes to creating custom entities. Creating custom entities is one of the pillars of customizations in Dynamics. It allows us to you know, collect records that are not out of the box in Dynamics 365. Um, or if you're creating a model-driven application, you're probably going to have to create these entities that are going to serve for your particular solution. So when you're creating an entity, there's two types of ownerships, which are user or team or organization own. I personally, as a best practice, never pick organization own. Because if you think about it, the benefit of having an organization own entity is that you don't have to pick an owner. So the company essentially owns the records, the organization owns the records. But what that does is that from the security perspective, users will be able to either see all records or none of the records. You don't have that you know, ability to filter which records they can see. You don't have the steps within a security role, the scope within a security role to the user level, business unit, or parent-child business unit. It's all or nothing. And you can see an example if you have Dynamics 365, you can go to the product entity and see an example of an organization-owned entity. You can even turn it off, on or off for a particular security role. So if you're a salesperson, you can either read all the records or none of the records, right? That is, that is a problem. So what I like to do is I always like to pick user or team own and hide the owner team. The owner team will be behind the scenes. No one will see it. However, if I go into the security roles, I can get to organization level in the scope with a user or team own. I just have all those levels in between, but I can always turn it all the way on. So it will behave exactly like an organization own entity, but later down the road when you change your mind, which happens a lot, you can always dial it back. You can resurface that owner field, change the security roles however you want it, it's happened a lot, for example, in cases where two companies merge and you want to keep the products from that company separated from the products from this other company. You can't really do that unless you're using a separate instance, right, in Dynamics. So what I like to do is I like to go for user or team own, hide the owner field, crank up the security role all the way to organization scope, and then if I need it later, I can always resurface the owner field, tweak the security scope, and then I'm good to go. So I hope you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week.